My next dream is, well, for one thing, I've noticed with young children that they were always more attracted to a computer when they first encounter it, the more it resembles real human stuff. And we got up to the point where voice can sound like a human voice. And that's attractive and a pull. And then we have graphics or games, things that look like movies in front of you. And, but could a teacher, could a, a computer be a teacher? I thought about that quite a bit. And what's the difference between a human teacher and a computer teacher? The computer teacher is a real smart animated book and it can correct you when you're wrong, but it doesn't sort of sense your emotions. It doesn't sense if you're having a good day. It doesn't ask you, you know, how was the party the other day? Did, uh, you know, Jimmy have a good birthday party, whatever, you know, your brother? And it's just, it doesn't have that built in the whole of a human being. I often ask the question, could a computer make a cup of coffee? Okay, you could come into my house and maybe you could make a cup of coffee and I could go into yours and I might be able to. I might succeed, I might have to ask some questions, but when is a computer ever gonna to get to that level? And if you analyze all the steps you had to do to walk, to know what kitchens are, you got that from years of life, of living around kitchens, to know what a coffee machine might be, to kind of look at it and look for clues like words, to look in drawers for pieces that might fit in them, and how, what, what the whole process. A lot of those things, you know, that, the, you know, what a human being is. I like that AI Is test. so far <laughs> above anything we've ever done, so. <laughs> Uh, you know, yeah, and, uh, and that's, but that's, you know, every time we take a step closer to making a computer that human, it's a good step. Well, 15 years ago, right? how would you get an answer to a question? You'd ask a smart person. A smart person has the most answers. Who do you ask now? Google. <laughs> Bing, whatever. Yeah. And uh, you get a lot better answers and more complete answers and choices of Wikipedia, information. Right? You don't always get the answer you want to if you're looking for something that can also be sold because people want to sell it to you more than they want to give you the answer you want. But, <laughs> but, but, uh, but it's, it's sort of like they talk about the internet having numbers of nodes approaching the order of magnitude of the number of neurons in a brain and the number of network connections approaching the number of synapse junctions. And really, the computer, the internet is sort of like the smartest person for some things, mm -hmm. some kinds of answers.